This is the fifth and final part of the OGT Universal NGS Complete Workflow Solution for CytoShore and SureSeq. The post-capture PCR process will take approximately 105 minutes and purification will take approximately 40 minutes. Make up a fresh solution of 80% ethanol using molecular biology grade ethanol and molecular biology grade water. Let the nuclease free water, PCR buffer and primer mix thaw to room temperature. Remove the magbind total pure NGS beads from the fridge and let them warm to room temperature. Place the PCR polymerase on ice. In a fresh 1.5 ml tube, assemble the PCR master mix on ice using the quantities in the table. Remember to use fresh pipette tips between components to avoid cross-contamination. Mix well on a vortex mixer and spin down briefly. For each sample, aliquot 36 microliters of the PCR reaction mix into a fresh 0.2 milliliter reaction tube. Pipette mix the bead slurry to ensure the beads are homogeneous. Add 14 microliters of captured DNA and bead slurry to each tube. Vortex briefly and pulse spin the tubes. Place the tubes in the thermal cycler and run the program. Refer to the table to determine the number of cycles depending on the panel. For the purification process, mix the room temperature magbind beads for at least one minute or until the reagent appears to be both homogeneous and consistent in color. Add 45 microliters of the homogeneous beads to each bead slurry sample pool. Mix well using a vortex mixer and incubate at room temperature for five minutes. Put the tube in a magnetic stand and wait three to five minutes for the solution to clear. Keep the tube in the magnetic stand. Carefully remove the cleared solution and avoid touching the beads. Discard the solution and keep the beads containing the DNA sample. Continue to keep the tube in the magnetic stand whilst adding 200 microliters of 80% ethanol to each tube. Wait for 30 seconds to allow any disturbed beads to settle and then remove the ethanol. Repeat this wash at room temperature. Dry the bead pellets at room temperature for one to two minutes. It is important that the beads don't start to crack as this means that they are over dry. Add 32 microliters of nuclease free water directly onto the bead. Mix well on a vortex mixer Spin briefly and incubate for 5 minutes at room temperature. Place the tube on the magnetic stand and leave it for 2 to 3 minutes until the solution is clear. Transfer 30 microliters of the supernatant to a fresh 0.2 milliliter tube or a 96 well plate. Tubes containing beads can be discarded at this time. Perform a quality check with the Agilent High Sensitivity Tape Station and the Qubit DSDNA High Sensitivity Kit. The DNA samples are now ready for pooling and sequencing. Prepare the sequencing pool by combining the prepared DNA pools so that each index tagged sample is present in equimolar amounts. Dilute the final sequencing pool to the correct concentration using the pooling template file provided by OGT. The samples are ready for sequencing 
on the compatible Illumina sequencing platforms. This concludes the OGT Universal NGS workflow solution for CytoShore and SureSeq. For more help and support, contact your local field application specialist or email contact at ogt.com.